With the approval by the FDA, health leaders are hoping more people will be willing to get the vaccine. Grace Feinerman talked to the Fayette County Health Department to find out how this could be an important milestone in the pandemic. A milestone in our fight against the pandemic as the FDA approves the Pfizer vaccine. If you've been waiting for this day, make no delay, get vaccinated. Kevin Hall with the Lexington Fayette County Health Department says it's an anticipated announcement. Experts are hoping FDA approval of the Pfizer vaccine will lift public confidence, but here in downtown Lexington, it seems reactions are mixed. By this point, if you haven't gotten vaccinated because of the approval, it's not going to make a difference. I'm kind of skeptical about the vaccines, but I mean, I guess if it's FDA approved, I guess it will be, you know, it makes people feel a little bit more comfortable. Regardless of how the approval affects hesitancy, Hall says employers could now have more of an ability to require vaccines. This is all as a third dose of either Pfizer or Moderna has been approved for the immunocompromised. Monday marking day one, they'll be provided at the health department's public clinic. If you are not someone who has the specific qualifications making you eligible as an immunocompromised person, don't jump the line for this. We need to make sure the people who are most vulnerable are getting this. Hall says vaccinated people can get COVID, but still drives home the shot's effectiveness. What we're seeing not only in Lexington, but throughout the United States is that unvaccinated people and the not fully vaccinated are the ones who are at highest risk from catching COVID-19. In Lexington, Grace Feinerman for the Fox 56 10 o'clock news. The emergency use authorization is still in effect when it comes to the Pfizer vaccine for 12 to 15 year olds, as well as the Moderna and Johnson and Johnson vaccine.